Hey, my Leo friends, and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your weekly July 6th through the 13th of July. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will not resonate with everybody, so just take what fits, leave what don't, and we will go ahead and get started. Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for our Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of July 6th through the 13th? Okay, let's see what we got. We got the Judgment, the Four of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. So you guys, um, for one, you guys got good karma coming your way. Um, you have taken the time that, that you've needed for yourself and the universe has taken notice. The universe, oh wow, amazing. Actually, I'm going to get all your cards out with clarifiers and then I will go from there. Who is Leo dealing with? Well, for one, Leos, I see you guys having a life partner or a soulmate coming in towards you. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Just to let you know what fell on the ground, you had the fool, the star, and the queen of wands. I'm not going to keep them because they did fall on the ground, but just so we know. Okay. And what is the outcome? You guys have such a beautiful reading already. I'm getting so many different scenarios here. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So your bottom of the deck is the chariot in the backside. So um, for some of you, you have um, moved forward away from um, somebody that was was no longer um, satisfying your needs as far as a relationship goes. You um, knew in order for you to receive your blessings, you had to move forward in a different direction than what was um that relationship was going in why is the judgment here for leos okay so um remember that you have the willpower to do what it takes for some of you you're still with somebody else and you're wanting to be in a different relationship for some of you you just left that relationship um, stay strong. You, you are in control of your destiny, your choices. Scoot my camera over here a little bit. You're, um, you're in charge of your destiny. Uh, but the, the universe is here to help you out if you should want to pursue this relationship that you're thinking about. Um, that's around the beginning of the week or today, actually. Nice. 
Wow, Leos. You guys have an amazing reading. You left a third-party situation. You are no longer going to fight for this person. You refuse to be a third party, so you are moving on, moving forward, and you are going to find somebody that most definitely is better served for you. Um, this is uh, dealing with your own demons. This is dealing with your own karma. Be strong, um, have faith, and remember you are in control of your destiny. Um, you're going to take some rest. You're going to shut out the outside world because you are uh, currently going through a spiritual transformation. You are becoming a new person. You are letting go of your old thoughts, beliefs. Um, you're letting go of control. And you're going to rise. You're going to rise to the occasion. Because you're going through this transformation, because you're uh, allowing things that no longer are good for you to go, you are going to um, call in a soulmate, a life partner. You have the Ace of Cups here, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Like I said, here you're dealing with your karma. You have good karma coming your way. Leos, you've worked very hard in this transformation. It hasn't been easy. Um, you guys have gone through a lot of struggle, a lot of hardship, financially, emotionally, spiritually, um, you name it, you've you've been through it, but you are beautifully healing. Um, this is a card of self-healing, finding balance, um, finding the strength to fix yourself and everything um, that you've been hiding away for years. Um, you've tamed the beast. You've tamed the demons within with the help of your angels. And now you are calling in your soulmate. Um, you've had a lot of internal conflict within yourself. Um, there's going to be a big change uh, in the time when you finish dealing with all this uh, inner conflict, all this uh, battling within you're going to be able to move forward in a beautiful direction. Um, you had the backside of the chariot um, on the bottom of your deck as well. So big movements coming, Leos, big changes. Your person you're thinking of dealing with or want to be dealing with is your soulmate. Um, this is a person from your past, past lives. Um, could be fire sign in nature or this could be you, Leo. <clears throat> but they're, they're very passionate for you. They... Um, they hold you in high regard. They hold you, uh, I don't want to say on a pedestal, but they think highly of you. They want to have a family with you. They want to build something with you, create, um, just be passionate in life altogether. They are very, very stable. Uh, could be an Aries, but they are very well grounded, very stable, well established. Could be somebody of authority, but it doesn't have to be. It's just somebody who knows what they want. They're going to go get it. They have a job a stable job, a stable income, a stable home. Their emotions are um, stable because they've already gone out on this spiritual journey. They have, um, they've already gone through this process, this death that's in your guys' the same uh, position. They've already gone through that. They've already set out in search of their soulmate and you are manifesting them into your life or them you because you guys are soulmates. I have three soulmate cards here already. Right underneath your Ace of Cups is the Ten of Cups and theirs um, with the Page of Pentacles. They're going to come in and offer you something. They are going to make you an offer you can't refuse. It's This is a relationship of a lifetime. Um, just these four cards right here is absolutely amazing. You are finding or they are finding balance within themselves. They got it all under control. They have figured it out. Um, they have the Empress in reverse. So. They could have been leaving a third party themselves, um, and that's why they went through this healing a little bit sooner than you did, um, but they're ready. They have their life together, and their last card of the week is the death on the, the opposite side, which is, this is the death. This is the rebirth. They are beautifully transforming into the person that they are meant to be, and they're going to reach out to you. Um, this is so amazing. And it's such a mirroring. Um, you guys have the same cards in different positions and then the ace and the 10. Leos, you guys have an exciting week coming up. Your guys' uh, outcome or your energies together, you have the backside of the five of pentacles. You guys are spiritually rebirthing. You guys are spiritually becoming new people. Um, you're awakening. You're being enlightened. You're coming out of financial struggles. Um in the past, you were just so emotionally drained. The, the waters were too rough for you. You just couldn't take much more. But you are coming out of that 
when meeting this person. Somebody's going to come in very quick, very fast. In this card, you see uh, it looks stormy, but he's following the swallows. He's following them through the storm clouds um, to safety, to go home. You guys are coming home to each other. You guys have been together in past lives, and you guys are coming in very quick. And it's going to be an emotional shakeup. Now, this with this, the tower is not a bad thing. You're going to be shook up emotionally because you're going to be like, what the heck just happened? Like, this is amazing. I'm not used to this um, because the tower is just an emotional upheaval. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing um, with this person's going to come in so quick, so fast, like a knight in shining armor and totally tip your world upside down in a positive way. Your wishes, your dreams, your prayers, they are being answered. And this is because it's being guided by the universe. Um, this is your card as well, Leo. But this is uh, God sent. This is uh, heaven sent from the divine. This is a divine connection. Um, definitely soulmate and life partners coming in for you guys. Follow your dreams. Who cares what anyone else says? Follow your heart. The baby rides the horse, even though everyone tells them a baby can't ride a horse. Does the baby care? No. The baby rides the horse because the baby wants to ride the horse. So don't let other people try to bring you down. Don't let other people try to tell you what's right for you and what's not. Because you're finding a relationship that's fair, balanced, just, and karmically meant for you. And this, with the lovers, they are, you may, you could possibly have a choice um, with the justice as well. You could have a choice whether to, uh, between two people or not, but I see there is no choice. Um, Leo, you guys know who you want. You know who you're manifesting in, and they are coming. They are coming for you. See the temperance angel behind the lovers. It is in the same row as the temperance angel in your reading with the soulmate card. So you are obviously picking your soulmate and it's just going to be beautiful. Your outcome is the king of cups. The waters have calmed down. Um, the, the stars are out. This is heaven sent. The stars are aligning. You are so emotionally fulfilled. And here's that emperor again. This is the second time Aries male. Um, or female, this is a general reading, but this person just has it all together and they're here to offer it to you. You also have the sun card as your last card. Um, the universe is sending you somebody to not only heal your heartbreak, but to give you that perfect foundation to build on, to give you a beautiful new home, a beautiful new relationship, a marriage, a commitment, a twin flame, soulmate, life partner, Whichever one you fit in, they are here and they are here for good to stay. These are people that, uh, these are relationships that are going to last the test of time. Spirit Angels, what advice do you have for Leo for the 6th through the 13th of July? Amazing reading, Leo. This is an awesome, awesome reading. Such beautiful, good energy. Oops. Your card that came out very soon. So clearly decide what it is so it comes to you. Like I said, you are manifesting this relationship into fruition, into reality, and whoa, into, um, yeah, into your life. Like you, this is what you've been working for, Leo. This is what you've been through all this transformation, this death, this, you know, we don't choose death. Death happens to us. And you're, you've been asking yourself, why am I going through this? Why is, why, do, why, what could I possibly have done to deserve all this heartbreak, all this hardship? Well, it's because it was time for you to transform into a different person. So you could be ready for your soulmate because this is a past life relationship. Like I said, um, you have known each other before. So clearly decide that you want to manifest them into your life and they are coming for you, Leo's. Like I said, amazing reading, amazing week for you guys. I hope this uh, resonates with the majority of you as this is an amazing time for you guys. Enjoy this week. Um, enjoy the newness of this beautiful rebirth that you are having because the universe is here to bless you for all your hard work and all your good karma. So as always, Leos, I send you love, light, and may God bless your journey.